Welcome to our Golang troubleshooting session. Today, we're tackling a specific issue that many beginners encounter. Our viewer is facing a compile error related to the strings package while trying to solve a problem on leak code. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the error message you're encountering. The message states undefined strings in strings.trim. This indicates that the Go compiler cannot find the strings package when you try to use the trim function. In your code, you have imported the strings package using an alias ss. This means that you need to use ss.trim instead of strings.trim to access the trim function. To fix the error, locate the line where you are using strings.trim and replace it with ss.trim. This should resolve the compilation issue on leak code. After making this change, try submitting your code again on leak code. It should compile successfully, and you can proceed with testing your solution. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're getting a compile error in Go saying undefined strings in strings.trim, it might be because you're importing the strings package under an alias. For example, if you import it as ss, you need to use ss instead of strings throughout your code. If you import the strings package normally, you can use strings as expected. Remember, you must import the package to use it, whether you alias it or not. Also, consider running Go FMT on your code to follow Go coding standards. This will help you get better assistance from other developers. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you encounter an undefined error with the strings package in Go, it might be because you've imported it with a different name. This can disrupt the function's execution. There's no need to import the strings package again. It will be included automatically you can use it directly in your code. Here's a code example that demonstrates how to reverse words in a string using the strings package. Notice how we split the string and reverse each word. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, if you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.